Hey guys, Crimson here. Just a quick video in regards to my current build in ESO. I'm running 0, 38, 11 for my attributes. I find that 2.3k HP is more than sufficient for trials these days, and the 11 in stamina increases my overall DPS as it increases the damage output by light and heavy attacks. I favor weapon damage over spell damage as I find that it scales better with 4 shock and as my most spammable abilities is Force Shark and Light Weave, uh, it increases my DPS the most. Now I have 48% crit. The reason for this is that I'm running the Mundus the Apprentice. For Spell Penetration, again, I found this increases my DPS the most compared to the Shadow and the Thief, but this is just my personal preference. Now my skill lineup is Crushing Shark, Elemental Drain, Restoring Twilight, Power Surge, Inner Light, and Dawnbreaker. The reason that I'm running this is that Restoring Twilight increases my Magicka recovery, and for those around me, it also does an extra 50 DPS. And also with Dawnbreaker, the 10% additional damage when slotted is quite nice. On my second bar, I have a few heals, Spell Symmetry for Mana Regen, and Greater Storm Atronok is obviously the ultimate that I will be using. Now I found that this build pulls about 800 sustained DPS when out in the world and while I'm in trials is about 1.1 to 1.3k DPS. Uh, I have done a few tweaks since then so hopefully next time I go in it'll be a little bit higher but this is just the demonstration for today. So here we go. Elemental drains up. A little bit of light weaving. There we go. It dropped a little bit at the end there, but it's around 800. As you can see by that, that's my damage breakup. Now, it really depends on how much I crit. It would be nice to have a bit more crit, which would obviously increase my sustained DPS, but currently I'm happy with where it's at. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you have any comments, please feel free to comment below. Thank you.